pretty exciting development was in the, the late 80s working with Paul Newby Frazier and made this just completely cutting edge bike for her. That was an exciting time for triathlon. Talking about pushing the limits on aerodynamics and doing things that people hadn't really done before. Just lopping huge amounts of time off of the, the bike segment. Nowadays we talk about tenths of seconds or you know over the, the distance of a Ironman. I mean we're, we're talking about maybe a minute or two. Back then it was like it was phenomenal gains made by, by just um, technology. Our triathletes, you know, like the Rayler brothers, the U-Place team based out of Holland or Leander Cave, they've got so many choices. It's all about choices for these guys. In 1984, Olympics is based in LA. Easton's also based in LA. They asked Jim Easton, son of the founder of Easton, if he would be the mayor of the Olympic Village. And he's so inspired seeing the games that when he came back to the office, he said, from this point on, we're only doing sporting goods. And that was really a big turning point for the brand. So Jim Easton thought, this guy Chuck, we've seen him ride his bike to and from work. He seems to know a thing or two about bikes. Let's, let's get him in here, let's, let's talk to him. Let's see if, if he'll help us out. So you couldn't have asked for a better opportunity. It was just, the timing was perfect. We're so lucky to be in, in a place like Santa Cruz that has such bike culture. And the lunch ride here gets pretty competitive. You know, the Giro guys across the building, like they're, they're religious about the lunch ride. When we joined the Giro guys, we put our tubulars on. You know, we, we put on the most, <laughs> most competitive wheels we can for that ride because it's a, it's a big deal here. The ability for the engineers who are designing the product upstairs to be able to walk downstairs and see that same product they designed being tested um, and seeing it fail or pass and understanding you know, those failure modes. So that tight feedback loop, we're able to reiterate iterations very quickly and progress the, the process. You know, what would, would normally take us months um, working overseas to just weeks in-house. This is Easton's brake track test fixture. It's going to simulate riding down a mountain pass with the brakes on the entire time. Um, this is a durability test for carbon clinchers as well as carbon tubulars. This test is really important for carbon clinchers specifically because the air pressure and the carbon itself change a lot during braking. So as you are heating up a carbon clincher, if it's not made with the proper um, temperature resin, you can then break down the resin system and then the bead hook which is holding the tire on can soften and let the tire go. This same fixture will do wheel impact testing as well as handlebar impact testing. This radius of this collar here is going to drop onto the edge of the rim without a tire. That way we can test from various heights how much force it takes to damage the rim itself. And we'll test it all up to the point of failure so we know how much force the edge of the rim can actually handle. In most cases with Easton's carbon wheels, it can handle almost twice the energy as an aluminum wheel without damage. Our facility here, world class, and that's, that's really the best thing about being here. We can test wheels, we can test handlebars, we're talking about torque test and bump test, impact test. We know exactly how the stuff's going to hold up long before it goes to market, so we can be confident when we put it out there that it's not only the fastest that the athlete can get, but that it's going to hold up. We do all of our service and repairs right here in Scotts Valley. It's literally the best customer service. Our, our competitors can't, can't keep up with that. So turnaround time for a warranty is five business days. Uh, for just a general repair, say you, you crash real bad and you got to hop in your wheel and you want to get it fixed up, that's about 10 business days. If your wheel breaks, we want to know why. We, wanna, we don't want to just give you new product and say, you know, you know, go try to break it again. We want to touch it and feel it and see what's going on out there. Like, what's the trend? And here, the team analyzes it. They talk to the customer, they interact. How often do you interact with someone about your product? Everything is hand-built and we use a lot of tone. You'll notice, you probably hear them in the back plucking the spokes now. We build everything by hand. A lot of, a lot of competitors' wheels are built with a machine and that creates a lot of tension and uneven tension on spokes. And to use the tone method, we just get a more even, uh, soundy wheel and more even true wheel. It's, man, it's a it's a fun time to be involved right now. Like the performance that 
that we're getting out of carbon wheels and where we're going with it. It's exciting stuff.